In this segment, we'll explore some of the factors that are driving the need for a new WAN model, a software-defined wide area network, or SD-WAN. I'll explain why SD-WAN adoption is accelerating at such a crazy pace. As we talked about in the last video, the traditional way of building WANs based on routers is not cloud-friendly. It doesn't deliver the application performance and quality of experience that users expect from their applications. And remember, your users don't care where their apps are hosted, in the data center, in the cloud, or with a SaaS provider. They just want them to run fast. I moderated a roundtable this past week. I do about one of these per month, and I always ask attendees what percentage of your company's apps have moved to the cloud. The answers are surprisingly consistent event to event. For, for some companies, it's 10 to 20%. For some, it's 100%. And for many, it's something in between. But industry analysts generally agree that as of today, the middle of 2019, across the board, about 70% of enterprise apps have moved to the cloud, hosted in public cloud infrastructures or consumed as a service, SaaS. However, enterprises also report that they're not realizing all of the benefits of the migration to the cloud. They cite cloud application disruptions and a network model that can't keep pace, with ever-changing cloud apps. What they're describing, in not so many words, are the application performance impacts caused by backhauling all app traffic back to headquarters, which is the case with the traditional WAN architectures as we described in the last video. Interesting anecdote. We often hear from customers that their users complain about applications running faster from home or from Starbucks than they do at the branch. And that's because at home, they're accessing SaaS apps directly over the internet instead of suffering the performance impacts caused by traffic backhaul that happens when they're accessing apps from the branch office. Sending cloud traffic that's destined for the internet back to headquarters simply doesn't make sense. It adds delay and that degrades app performance. And as I said in the last video, why not use the internet to reach apps that are hosted in the internet? An SD-WAN that has the right set of features allows enterprises to actively and securely use the internet as a reliable form of WAN transport to augment, and in some instances even replace MPLS services. And as apps continue their migration to the cloud, and as traffic patterns continue to change, enterprises are realizing that there is a better way to connect users to their applications, a better way that improves business productivity, end user quality of experience, and customer satisfaction, a better way that accelerates business initiatives and digital transformation, a better way that keeps up with changes and delivers new applications to thousands of sites across multiple clouds in far, far less time, a better way that lowers overall WAN costs, and that way is SD-WAN.